Steve Quick of Providence Presbyterian Church joining us to talk about an issue that might affect us directly or at least indirectly, almost all of us, recovery from substance abuse and uh, other kinds of abuse, actually. There's a whole list. Steve, why is your program called Celebrate Recovery? Well, Celebrate Recovery grew out of the Saddleback Church in California in the 80s. It's deeply rooted in the traditional 12-step programs, which ironically came out of the Oxford group around the, the turn of the century, which okay. was a Lutheran. So it started out as a faith-based group, grew into a more, I won't say secular, but a more non-sectarian group. Okay. And with Celebrate Recovery, it sort of made the full circle back to more of a faith-based group. Tell us a little bit about what it does. It harnesses the power of 12 steps. Mm -hmm. uh, marries it to uh, the idea that uh, the a vague higher power of the more traditional 12-step groups is Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. We start from that premise. Uh, we use the same tools uh, and uh, we use a lot of scripture. Once you begin to uh, look at scripture and uh, you've really internalized 12 steps, you, the correlations between the two are very, very striking. Yeah, and, I and wanted to ask you, how is it different from uh, traditional 12-step programs? Well, it starts out from the premise that, uh, that Christ is the higher power, yeah. uh, rather than some vague uh, entity, which uh, you're sort of allowed to discover on your own, but the traditional groups get a little, as I say, vague about what that is. Um, it does also opens up to, to other um, addictions, hang-ups, hurts, habits, uh, what you see above the, the water line is really only about 10% of it. Um, it could be um, overeating, it can be uh, workaholism, uh, it can be a codependency. There's a lot of codependency. Uh, this notion that uh, you can't be happy unless you're making somebody else happy, which is really an impossible problem. <laughs> <laughs> boy, boy, it certainly is. Um, you're fairly new to the island, uh, having moved here within just the past couple of years, so I think a lot of folks who are also new to the island will relate to that. Uh, you've had experience, obviously, with this program uh, where you came from in Illinois, right? I did. I started out with a traditional program on Michigan Avenue. I lived in the suburbs, worked in the city, um, and there were uh, lunchtime meetings available within a five-minute walk of my office. I did that for probably 10 years. Uh, at the end of 10 years, I felt it's more of a hunger uh, that uh, I didn't think the traditional 12-step group was, was really addressing. Um, stumbled upon Celebrate Recovery a mile from my house, wow. from the church down the street. Uh -huh. uh, went, uh, it was an immediate connection. Uh, I was with these guys every Saturday morning for 12 years, and they're still meeting today 14 years later after they first started meeting. That's fantastic. Uh, this program at Providence Presbyterian starts on the 15th. It's a Wednesday evening kind of a get-together uh, th that will uh, move along from there, and, and folks are obviously invited to get involved. Where can they find out more? Uh, you can go to the Providence website on, okay. on uh, uh, or you can go to the Facebook page, uh, and it, uh, it, it's, had, it's already started. We're, this will be our fourth session um, this, this Wednesday evening. Okay, that's fantastic. It's free child care. Yeah, free child care. Let's, and, let's uh, and, there too. <laughs> and, and, there's, and there's a meal that follows. So Fantastic. Good stuff. Uh, Celebrate Recovery is the name of the program. Thank you so much, Steve. Steve Quick of Providence Presbyterian Church. Up next, what a change in policy at an island apartment complex is doing to some of our island's children. Don't go away.